Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem. Print numbers having first and last bits as the only set bits. The problem statement is, given a positive integer n, the problem is to print numbers in the range 1 to n having first and last bits as the only set bits. For example, if input is 10, the output is 1, 3, 5 and 9. If we look at the binary representation of all these numbers, the first and the last bits of all these numbers are 1. Let's see how to solve this problem. The naive approach to solve this problem is, first we print 1. Now for i is equals to 3 to n, check if i minus 1 is a perfect power of 2 or not. If true, then print i. The key idea is, if we subtract 1 from a number which first and last bits are set, we get a perfect power of 2. For example, 17 is one of such number which has its first and last bit as the set bit. If we subtract 1 from 17, we get 16 which is a perfect power of 2. Let's see the code for the same. Here in the main function, we call the function print num with first last bits set and we pass the value end to it. Here in the function, i is a variable of unsigned long long type and we initialize i with 1 and we print the value of i straight away that is 1. Now we run a loop from i is equals to 3 to n and in each iteration we check if i minus 1 is a perfect power of 2 or not. For that we call the function power of 2. Let's see. In the power of 2 function we perform bitwise and operation on n and n minus 1. If n is a perfect power of 2, then doing bitwise n of n and n minus 1 would give us 0. So if i minus 1 is a perfect power of 2, that means i is one of those numbers which first and last bit are set. So we print i and we continue the loop. The time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity of this approach is O of 1. An efficient approach to solve this problem is First, we print 1 and now 1 by 1 generate perfect power of 2 with the help of bitwise left shift operation and then bitwise sort these numbers with 1 and if result is in the range, print them as a stop. For example, using bitwise left shift operation, we generated a random number 16. Now, the binary representation of 16 is this binary sequence and when we perform sort, of 16 with 1, we get a number which first and last bit is set and this is true for all perfect powers of 2. In the main function, we call the function print num with first last bit set and pass the value n to it. Inside this function, we have two variables power2 and num. Power2 is used to store the perfect power of 2. Now this statement prints the value of power2 that is 1. Now we enter the loop. Inside the loop, the very first statement uses left shift operation to generate the next perfect power of 2. And then we perform ZOR operation with 1 on this perfect power of 2 and store it in variable num. And here in this statement, we check if num is inside the range. If it is not, we break, else we print the value of num and continue the loop. The time complexity of this approach is O of log n and the space complexity of this approach is O of 1. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.